Hi folks, Robert here with more of the training and today we're going to do a parking structure. Someone asked me about that a while back. So we're going to do this in Rivet 2023. So first thing I want to do here, this is a old model I had. Um, don't remember where it's from. Uh, yeah, it's probably from one of Bates drawing models from 10 years ago. But anyway, so we want to go into our level one. This is rivet structure. So this is our grid um, column layout. So it's a parking plan. So we're on a level one. So we're going to place the structure right here. We're going to place the parking structure right here for each of these levels. So uh, first thing we need to do here is uh, go into our draw pad. Our, our, let me see. Go to rivet structure, you want to select a floor, a structural floor, and you want to go a 12 inch generic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we want to place a rectangular shape. Uh, well, can I see it there? Oh, there it is. From there to there. Yep. And then uh, we'll do another one from here to here. Okay, now um, what I like to do here now, I want to zoom into this area here. I want to use the pick line command. I want to create a gap. Where's the dimension? Uh -oh. Let's see. So that, I just want a line here. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go six inches. And we'll place it right there. Okay. So now, from this point, what we want to do is we want to have another line here. But this is, has to be a closed shape, so we need to use our split tool. And you want to split this from here, let's see, to there. So split this one from here to here, see how far I can split it out. And then I want to go and delete these out. You can do this in sketch mode, which is good. And then I'm going to clean up this here. The, the, the whole idea is I need a gap right about here. Oh, come on. Okay. And then here. Okay, this is probably already broken. So I'm going to just delete that. Okay. And then I'll just click OK. So there's my quote-unquote uh, ramp, I guess you can call it. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do here is uh, I'm going to go to here where you see it says add points. Let's go here. There we go. And I'm going to select this and I want to add points. So here here I select this command and what what I need to what we the whole idea here is to uh, define the, the the ramps or the uh, not the ramp but the landing so I want to add a point here here and then one here These are points that we, 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 we're going to show, we're going to need here. And then um, I'm going to switch it over to the 3D view.
and now here we're in our 3D view but uh, I want to go here down here and my view commands and I want to select okay wait a second here okay I want to just step back out of this for a minute this and I'm going to isolate it. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do that. So I'm going to isolate this element. Okay. So here's what we draw and what we brought in and now we added our points and everything. So what you'll do here, you'll go from this one here. We want to select this and we want to uh, modify sub elements. So all the green dots come on now and we'll just go from here Let's make this two feet. Again, ignore that. Make another two feet. And this is two feet. Okay. So then we'll just carry this right on up the ramp here and we'll go these guys here we'll select we'll make these five feet this one as well uh oh not 77 you <laughs> gonna do that one one too many buttons there. Is that that's five? That's seven. No, that's five, right? Okay. This should be five. So this is five. Okay. All right. So we're moving on up. So at that point, uh, let's go to the next one here. Let's push this guy up to seven. Click it. Yeah, you get it sooner or later. I guess, okay, seven feet. Seven. Okay, so then we move on around and we come all the way back to here where we place a gap. And this is why we made the gap. <laughs> we'll go from here and we'll go 10. So it's pretty straightforward. So there's our our ramp. Let's go and have a look at this in our uh, 3D view here, our top view. So that's kind of looking like what we want here. So now what I want to do here, I want to go and add 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 points here. Uh, I want to add one. I want to add four more points in each one of these little uh, landing areas. So I want to go add a point. We'll add a point there. Okay. You can ignore this and just say okay. And then we want to add another point here. Now, uh, we want to we want to uh, set the elevation for the top left point here at four foot six inches here. I think I might want to just place another point here. So these points are basically are for the. Uh, the, the slope for drainage or whatever. Uh, I'm not. Let me see what I got. What I got going on here. 
Oh yeah, they way, way down. So what I gotta do, I gotta push these up. So I think for this one, Okay, so I'm going to select the top left here. Let's go back into my top view here. Come on. Let's go, guys. There you go. So this one, I want to set this to 4.6. So I'm going to modify element and I'm going to say 4.6. Okay, now for the this one, I'm going to say one six. Okay, now for the this guy here, the bottom right, it's going to be nine six. You just say nine space six. And then this one here, I'm going to make it 76. Uh oh, not 76, 7. Okay. So now let's go activate. Let's go. Uh, we could have a look in our 3D view, what we have here. Okay. So now let's go look at our north elevation here. And there's our ramp. Uh, let me see here. These should be down. And you can adjust these here, but I want to go in through all that right now. It's just a basic little thing. And then, you know, um, there's many ways you can copy this up. So I, I would go here, do this type of thing. I would grab it. And I would go uh, paste, paste to clipboard oh, and then I will go uh, nope I'm going to undo that sorry cancel that I would select this guy and I will go uh, clipboard place the selected levels and then I got uh, these four and click apply and there you go and then I would just go back and re uh, set this and there's our parking ramp so hey guys thanks for watching my video please subscribe uh, helps me uh oh we didn't need that one <laughs> helps me make videos like this uh, so that's a simple parking ramp man you know and uh, that's how you do it so hey guys thanks for watching please subscribe uh, give me a super thanks if you can or keep watching. So thanks again and bye. Be safe. Bye.